Nobody likes a wise ass, Jake. <laughs> you have to put a dollar in the swear jar. You said ass. Tell you what. Here's 20. It should cover me till lunch. Now. I want maple lips. It's got oats and corns and wheat. It's the sweetest breakfast treat. It's, it's maple, 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 maple. Delicious. <laughs> You know who wrote that song? Your Uncle Charlie wrote that. No lie. Kid, if I was gonna lie, I'd say I wrote Stairway to Heaven, not the Maple Loop song. <laughs> you two are really good together. Thank you. So does your wife sing too? Oh, uh, no, no, I'm not married. What a shame. <laughs> wow. You're even better than a dog. <laughs> Kids. Last card, down and dirty. King's bet. Dollar. I'm in. In. I'll see the dollar. Raise it five. You raised five dollars on that? I call five dollars. <laughs> Queens, full of nines. <laughs> hey, kid, don't you know what a full house is? Yeah, and I also know what a psych out is. <laughs> Love this boy. I'll see you and raise you 20. <laughs> Think he's got you, pal. He's bluffing. He always pulls his ear when he bluffs. About him, Mighty Mouse. You win. Take him down. Call you. I hate this kid. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? You said hell. Throw a dollar in the pot. <laughs> what? Hey, we all had to. <laughs> Charlie, may I speak with you privately, please? These clothes look stupid. You're ten. No one cares. <laughs> You're choking me. Trust me. You'll know when I'm choking. I think my socks are on the wrong feet. Jake, dude, I'm right on the edge. <laughs> Don't push me. I can't do this on someone else. Charlie? You look great, Rose. Why not? Because I never said I'd call her back. Remember this, Jake. Never make promises to women that you don't intend to keep. And you know how you do that? Always keep my promises? That might work. <laughs> A better way is never make promises. <laughs> what happens if Amy calls again? Okay, I'm glad you asked that. <clears throat> when the phone rings at Uncle Charlie's house, we don't just willy-nilly pick up the receiver and answer it. <laughs> no. What we do is we check the caller ID. And only pick up if we want to talk to that person. Like mom? Uh, it depends. Your mom? Yes, my mom, no. How come you don't want to talk to your mom? I'll tell you all about that when you're old enough to drink. What if I want to talk to your mom? Okay, that kind of attitude is going to break down the whole system. You can see right through this one lady's shirt. I think maybe she had plants. Implants. Yeah, implants. Ask Grandma if she had them, and Grandpa said, I wish. And then she got mad at him, and then they bought me ice cream. Charlie! Not now, Jake. I just heard the Fudge Nugget song you wrote on TV. Great. From a magic chocolate mountain. In a secret chocolate mine Jake. from Granny's Big Fudge Nuggets with a taste that's all so fun. Jake, I'm not alone in here. No way. <laughs> Who's in there? A friend of mine. Is it a girl? Hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it Janet? <laughs> no. It's my friend Wendy. Will you take me rollerblading, Uncle Charlie? I can't, buddy. I got work to do. What am I gonna do all day? It's really nice outside. Why don't you wash my car? <laughs> no, I wanna go rollerblading. Hey, you 
must be Jake. Yes, I am. My wonderful Uncle Charlie has opened his home to me and my father because we had nowhere else to go. <laughs> never fails, does it? Whenever I would like to spend some quality time with my grandson, there's always something more important going on. It's not fair, you know. I'm not the one getting close. Why do I have to go and be bored? You don't. You can stay here with Grandma. What? what? <laughs> have fun. Wait, no. I'll be good. I swear. Baby, Bye. next a bitch, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> It is. It's chicken and from under sauce. From under sauce? Yeah, from under the toilet. <laughs> get it, Dad? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I got it 30 years ago, the first time he said it. Yeah, but it's new to him. Check this out. Hey, Jake, what do you call the red mushy stuff between the elephant's toes? What? Slow moving natives. <laughs> I love this kid. He's a comedy blank slate. Well, I'm glad you love him, but you might not want to share your chopsticks with him. I think he's coming down with something. Oh, no. He thinks it's a head cold, but it's snot. <laughs> Wait a minute. You don't know that one either? Oh, I have so much to teach you, grasshopper. <laughs> you know how to make arm farts? Charlie, Charlie, not at the dinner table. I'll show you later. <laughs> oh, before I forget, you got plans for tomorrow night? No. Make some. I'm gonna need the house to myself. Fine. Don't you wanna know why? Ah, uh, Jake, if you're done, you can go to your room and start your homework. Oh, this is about sex, right? <laughs> Kids today, huh? Doesn't know from under sauce, but gets why I need the house. <laughs> Dude, I got a bunch of jokes you're gonna love in a year or two. Cool! Go. You think I'm just a kid, but I'm snot. <laughs> Wait, that's not right. <laughs> You ever had revenge? How? Well, would you like to go see a bunch of naked boobs? Sure. Charlie! <laughs> this was a dirty trick, Uncle Charlie. Hey, there he is. High five. Don't move. Too slow. Come here, clown. Ah, upside down. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, Charlie. Judith, how's it going? Hey, Uncle Charlie, show Mom how I mopped the floor with my hair. <laughs> well, it's not really mopping, it's more like dusting. What if you drop him on his head? I guess I will have to mop. <laughs> Wonderful. Where's Alan? He's in the kitchen. Walk this way. <laughs> actually kind of ironic. They're arguing about who gets you on what days. That is ironic. You know what ironic means? No, but I trust you. <laughs> What's ironic is while they're arguing about who gets you, I get you. And you know what? It's not such a big deal. Uh -huh. No offense, but let's face it, you're 10. I can't take you to Vegas. We can't double date. When was the last time you picked up a check, you mooch? I'm almost 11. <laughs> I've never met before. Just watch the trick, okay? We'll work on the pattern later. You see the coin? Mm-hmm. Now, I grab it with this hand, and I blow, and it's gone. Where do you think it is? It's right here. <laughs> How did you do that? Ironic, huh? <laughs> what? You got a normal sized head. Thanks. I'm pretty happy with it. Well, I don't get it. What don't you get? I heard Mom say the reason Uncle Charlie gets into so much trouble is because he thinks with his little head. <laughs> it's not that little. Okay. You tell your mother, Charlie, that women are to be honored and respected. See, Jake? 
That's the big head talking. And he only has one head. You want to tell him, or should we let him spin for a while? I'd rather he spin. Oh, come on, at least give me a clue. All right. What do men have that women don't? Beards. Lower. Beards. You're right. Let him spin. And second of all, I didn't even have it. So you're gonna have kids? I don't know. Maybe someday. I hope so, because you'd be a cool dad. Really? Mm-hmm.